Um, um, since I am a young musician um, and still in college, murag luxury na sa luxury na po sa mga mga recording me, mga recording. Um, cause dili magud sa again quite southern magud me layo kami sa sa main gud nga paingon na sa Manila kay since metropolitan mga gud Manila dato gud the focus sa ano music industry. But since na uh, ga mag uh, ang luck ang what's lacking here kay ma ma ano mga pod ma murag ma provide mga pod kay na yung mga little organizations nga help sa mga musicians. Particularly e troops, corridor music, um, sa una ay katong slam, slam, kay karamo na sila mga organizations na help sa mga musicians, especially diri, in particular in Cagayan de Oro. Um, also, um, also, um, na yung mga venue nga pwede to karan, like, like, kana sa karam pala gopen, punch, bo- punch bowl, where ang focus kin nila kay mga local artists diri, particularly sa CDO. Pero di lang ano di lang CDO lang ginakita nila ga invite pud sila mga musicians from other parts of Mindanao and from I think Cebu uh, and then napud kada mga napud mga ga particular lang pud sa ilang mga genre ang ano ang um, kagenero since ang, ang music eh, dagan man na genre so napud mga organization nga ga part ga uh, ginakita nila kay particular sa genre like e troops ang e troops kay gina uh, ang e troops kay ang um, kina focus sila kaya mga metal music din sa again which is unang particular out kay since lalay man tang mga tao kanang natay mga preferences sa music ginakita nila ang taste sa tao for metal music for slam slam and uh, kanang MOR nga tokar mo na mga mga bis uh, kung saan pa bisayang dako nga music kanang mga bisdak music para mga bisayang nga rock nga gina kanang lokal nga tokar din sa studio and then uh, napod kanang mga college na ano college organization organizations like sound table nga gap pud sila maggrow ang mga musicians from uh, from college para ma-prepare sila sa ano sa outside sa I mean sa outside nga mga tokar ba and then ang sound table ang main ginakita gyud nila kay mga students sa Cebu University pero gasabak kaya pud sila mga banda to sa outside so nga na uh, mga gap sa mga musicians pero ang prop ang ga constrict lang mangit sa mga musicians sir kay ang access ang access nila sa technology which is grabe ka fundamental para sa recording sa mga artist kay pero uh, ang naka-challenge pud kay ang pag-emerge pud sa mga ano sa internet which is ang pag-post sa video sa YouTube which is one ng murag second best way sa outlet sa mga musicians na pagkita sa ilang talent since para ma-discover sila kay minimal lang kay ang scout there is again noon Sun Table is an organization in Sevier. It was built by the band Tabula Rasa sa una ba kayo siya. So sila katong mga karaan gigito sila sa Diris Cagayan. Then unfortunately nakuan siya, na close siya. So then from time to time na ini kuan nga si Alo Navarra. So si Alo Navarra mo to siya ang kibali Pioneers, ay pioneer ya punto sa sound table so thankful mi sa iya kay um, last three years ay last three years um, katong three years up before siya ay nag reopen ikibali sa organization sa sound table then kuwanto siya nagpatabang ya mo siya kay kuwanto neri to siya sa una ang president sa kuwan CSG so um, by kuwan si Alon ang consecutive 3 years na consecutive president sa sound table so sa iya ha grabe ang experience niya as the president then time to time daga na kay banda nga na, nabuhat banda nga na, na form ang friendship grabe nga band then sa karon at present um uh, sound table para gyapon siya kanang gahi gyapon then sa music scene diri sa Cagayan so karon sa kumpara na kung sa table sa una og karon kay ang sa una kay murag tukar 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 ana ana pero kung makaingon ko sa una og karon murag sa ko lang murag kuan lang ligar kanang minus tukar na ana sa gawas kay di ba kanang murag kuan pa man bago pa man sa mga org so pero naagya po yung mga opportunity sa gawas 
like katong mga karaan lagi nga banda then karon among gina kuan amo paging gina promote siya through kanang ginapagawas na namo siya dili lang diri sa eskwelahan so apil na sa sagawas so munang mga kuan namo nga manami mga programs nga katoging mga bands namo amo siyang ginahatagaan opportunity nga ma-expose siya dito sa music scene sa Cagayan so as an organization ga tinabanga gyapon mi then sa paman tinabanga kanang kanang gyud kanang promote music dili lang gyud siya nga tukar lagi sa tanan so naga po yung mga friendship nga kakuan kakabuo mga paman mga events na na nga makapaban pagin sa mga asan organization so sa karon at present active bang sound table tukar tukar sa gawas then we have 13 bands na karon 14 or 13 bands apil na ng mga kuan so ng atong mga sauna na graduate na gagpul gagtangan pagi mo na mo banda kita ganon pa na mo so stay strong ang kuan sound table so ano tayo sa music sa po is uh, isa, siya, isa, siya, isa siya nga outlet nga nga mapagawas na akong emotions through music so being a musician uh, ma matagaan yung chance nga kung saan ako gilin ako mapagawas sa musulti na po gilin ako mapagawas in terms sa akong pagsulti pero through music makita uh, matagaan yung medium nga nga dito nang ipagawas tapos uh, aside, aside from that what would uh, Sana po siya, murag na yung high kibali, like, it's, it, uh, it's different when you say it, but when, uh, when you say your thoughts, it's different, but it's different nga, uh, compare nyo sa when you're playing, or kung gusto nyo mo, uh, ipaagin nyo sa music, kay, there's a, na yung high ba, na yung something uh, supernatural high, or bato pa na sa word, di ba, Marley, na yung natural mystic. So, I think, muna akong gagkakuha uh, sa music, and I think, mga na to. So, yeah, salamat. What is music for me? Uh, I know I'll answer shy cliche na kay paminawan pero it has always been my life no, but in general like it's my scapegoat excuse to not sell out it's my outlet kung buput kayo ang balay or kung samo kayo ang uban barakada drugs or what not then music has always been that pure, na sincere, na honest, na escape para na ako, para lang lugar, just for me to get by. It's my way of dealing with my problems, or living out my life. Dahil yun, nagkahilig lang din sa siguro ko. Ever since I was little, siguro, na akong influenza sa ako, ipang katagan ko mga plaka sa ang ampul, na niya ako yung mga air supply ng mga plaka, lisod ng mga plaka sa una, then that made me listen to LPs and I got really interested in how they capture the sound, how they put the sound on vinyl. Lisad doon na kay ko, dahil trend trend dahil, as I grew up, I grew up with glam, new wave, and a lot of hip people do it, so na-influin siya sa siguro ko. Nangyan po yung mga downsides ko, may siguro. Sa atong mga group ko karang, kagani sila kapanigarilyo sa una, so I thought it was really cool to smoke, but then again, it's not. Kanaan, ano yung mga ups and downs na may? Bottom line, kanaan ko sa music, kay 
siya naging nabilim para na ako nga dili siya sell out, dili siya dili siya corrupted para na ako and I'm proud to say nga kabalo ko crazy pa minan pero I never made money off my music even though we released an LP or what not wag yung po nagkakwarta sa music so okay ra siya para sa ako isa ka po sa commodity nga dili na ako sa ma-measure in terms of money yun sa ganahan na rin ko niya sara akong amigo So, uh, South Coach Radio is an online radio station and uh, they say I'm the CEO and uh, one of my crews is Pancho and I also have RQ and Gabe, Jezo is not here, we also have Yen Meister, I don't know if you guys know her, I think you guys know her, and see Maris and so on. South Coach Radio, uh, first of he found me sa uh, three guys. I also, yeah, we also have Rob, of course. Uh, how could I forget Rob? <laughs> yeah, si Rob na mga na. Distract ka ba yun si Rob mga na. So, uh, we also have Tondas and we have writers. We have writers, we have videographers. And uh, that's it for the crew. So, what is South Coach Radio? Uh, first off, he found me siya by three people. So, I have uh, Kokong. I think you guys uh, interviewed him, and we also have Jezreel and me. Then, uh, so man, South Coach Radio is some uh, is an entity uh, to promote local music. Uh, we have uh, we have a dream lugar na matanta ang Luzon. Luzon area have their has their own but uh, scene, and sa mga kita there are a lot of bands, there are a lot of artists. Here in, uh, not only in CDO but also in Mindanao and the Visayas area, na wala pa sila na recognize or sila na promote. So one of the one of the aims of South Coast Radio is to promote those guys, and uh, I think we've been doing that fairly enough. Uh, we have gathered a lot, around a fair number of listeners, and what else? Uh, also, they go it's not only in the uh, CEO but also in the Visayas and in the now area. And um, what else? Just around my own South Radio. So, all the bands nga amo na ila, amo gina promote sa uh, air online. And so on. This, right? Yeah, of course. I'm Boy Tan and I play the drums. I've been playing the drums since I was um, 19 years old, so that makes it about seven or eight years now. And at first I started out playing at church for the first two years, and then I decided, you know, I wanted to be a drummer, like a real, like a real drummer, a professional one. So I spent the next few years, you know, practicing like five hours a day, just trying to be the, dr the best drummer um, in the world. You know, as far as I'm concerned, you know, and yeah. 
being a musician here in Cagayan de Oro, I mean, we got a lot of great musicians here. You know, um, they got a lot of feel, a lot of heart, a lot of passion. I guess the problem with it is that you can, you can, you can actually just count them by hand. You know, I mean, there's just a few of them that you can actually say that this guy is a real serious musician. And it's hard being a musician here in Cagayan de Oro as well because we don't have as much um, benefits as they come. Like, you know, some of the, most of the bands here actually, especially the ones that play in Punchbowl, they're practically non-profit bands. I mean, they just, they're just in it for, you know, just for the, just for fun, just just to jam with other people, you know, just to have a good time. And it's hard because, you know, they're, I mean, it's, it's nice to be compensated for the talent that you give out, the skill that you have. And it's also hard because, you know, the, the demographic, the audience, you know, they're not really as open-minded to the variety I mean, of the variety of the genres that the Kagandero musicians have. And I'm actually out of answers. At that time when we you know, uh, released the album, we were an independent band and we were um, working extra hard because we didn't have a, a record label to support us, financially especially. So we had to spend, you know, everything from our own pockets, so it was it was it was really hard, especially on my part. But um, enjoy the gapusha. That's what matters most. And uh, I consider myself to be searching for my own voice at that time. If you notice my album, lai lai ang among style, although the genre is ano pop, but still we we experimented on jazz, experimented on uh, putting a little bit of rock in it and. Uh, little solo, little blues, little jazz. So still, uh, at that time, I was searching for my own voice, searching for my own originality, you know, experimenting. Oh, uh, major this was because, um, because of the competition. Um, competition because, uh, if, if, if you're up on stage, sometimes other bands would you know, compare you to other bands, which actually helps you. Sometimes they make comments of you, negative comments of you, but it helps you because um, you improve. Mas can sa improve with ka. So, it's, uh, pero, off, pero, pero, pero uh, off stage, you know, if there are no gigs, everybody is close. Because, uh, no matter how many communities are in the world. Becoming a musician. Um, din sa Cagayan, there aren't that many uh, mga babae. So, wala, well, pero, yeah, may, may hapra. So, uh, I think it's, siguro, mga, uh, writing for, for people to sing, uh, Cagayan lang lugar na si, um, na ay babae nagkatukar. Especially, dili lang, uh, kakanta lang. And they, they carry instruments, they, Drums or so, yeah. Okay, um, musician sa um, actually, is because, um, um, especially if, um, kung, for example, kung banda ka na rin sa Cagayan, actually very hard is kamayer kayo mga uh, ano yung uh, mura scene actually so for example may karon may karon so, usually uh, talagsara kay tala kita uh, against mga ingani it's very uh, rare na kita karon di ba so kada especially also kung sa kuwapon nga uh, sa mga ita example, kanang medyo idaraan na. For example, in my case, uh, kung ano mong ko, medyo idaraan na gamay. So it's hard. Okay, aside from 
from actual work, uh, musician ko at the same time. Um, uh, uh, ko ano mga oras ni mga pero ngayon, most of the time. Uh, sa mga banda, for example, it's always hard, eh. Nagahan, usually, na may mga trabaho, tanan. Um, uh, yeah, ano mga ito nga, na? You always have to divide your time. But at the same time, when, so how uh, local uh, mainstream music is different from Cagayan de Oro uh, local music? So ang uh, kumatubagan is uh, from what I see and uh, what I have experienced is uh, ang local mangut is uh, we have uh, a variety, there is again, we have a variety of uh, influences na sa kanang para sa mga uban banda diri like uh, yung, uh, kaapin, gasolina, uh, kulay uh, super flirts. And sa so, kung, eh, kung imo nang paminawon sila and compare it to to Manila bands, lahi gid sila. They have the uh, Kagandoro has uh, a, uh, a variety of uh, of bands yun na na di ni mo makita sa urban place like Manila they have a, sa Manila mga this they have this uh, music na more isari pa tulungan na they have uh, the same sound kung mas kiyon sa na genre mas kiyon sa na genre but dagan banda they have the sound na uh, kano they have the same sound na unsa yun na more madungkan nato na there's na uh, mabantay nato is na uh, walay different something walay something different sa katong banda pero diri sa kagayan is yeah we have we have those kind of bands na makaingon kag na is something different with this band nya na bitaw so sa uban pod na na aspect sa uh, music scene and uh, ang Manila mangot is uh, they have they kana manila mga good is it um develop na magud na sila uh, ang places uh, exposed na sila ay nang uh, na mga na mga mga scenes bitaw so mas di ba siguro as advance or something mas mas naon sa lang sila mas nauna sila they have okay di ba manila is the capital of the philippines so mas una sila kun say mo abot ta to like equipments and stuff and sa ato diri uh, we're just emerging and uh, padulong pa tadya but salamat sa mga recording uh, recording studios na ni emerge dito sa diri sa kagayan uh, we can make more music and we can record more music and we can we can uh, we can uh, ato may pagawas atong ang ang kagayan music ato yung mapapaminaw sa buong Pilipinas niya. Um, obstacles or fears um, para sa banda sa Cagayan de Oro. Actually, people in Cagayan de Oro as musicians or non-musicians are really fearless. Like, they embrace every kind of music, every kind of genre, every kind of personality. What I think is the problem here, what is that good? Some organizers can put up an, can put up a, uh, an event just so uh, just because wala like, kwarta, so lack of finances lang yun. And sometimes, mag-abri sa ating bar diri, masira yun ni, ni mo kay why tao makagasto for music. Not at this age, no? So, muna yung, kung nami tendencies diri, kung nai mga banda nga magpunta po album, kung may tabog yun na, matag-matag na lang, just because wala like, kwarta. So, mura yun, mura yung main problem. Ang tao diri, wala yung problema, di ba? Very open. Even the establishment is very open. So, um, what are you? What are you?
I did a lot of videos lately. I uh, uploaded on YouTube and, and Facebook, and thankfully, um, the gun responses uh, ang, ang video. And what's next for me is I like to make more videos, and I like to post videos every week now, because I want to make uh, video blogs. I want to teach Philippines. Uh, I want I want to expand our market sa akong videos. I want to teach Philippines guitar. I don't want to teach them the modes or the or the techniques because you can go to YouTube and there are tons of videos that gives those lessons. For me I want to give them you know, soloing concept. Yeah, nah, those those kind of things. Uh, you know, maybe professionalism as a musician. Something like that. Um, video blogs. The next thing for me is you know, video blogs. Back when I was starting out, I've always wanted to be the best drummer in the world, but I know that something like that isn't possible. I mean, everyone's the best you know, drummer or guitarist or bassist in their own way. I guess the next level that I want to take is just to get my music out there, to be internationally renowned, you know. I mean, the internet, you know, the internet, the internet, I'm sorry, the internet is just ready for just people to put out their material so that people around the world can hear, you know, music that they've never heard of. And I've always wanted to take my teaching, my education to the next level. And I've, something about Kagan de Oro, I mean, I love Kagan de Oro, and I love the music, musicians here, and I love the music scene here, but I've always thought that there's a bigger world out there that's just waiting for people to just take a chance, you know, take the opportunity to just get out there and do something great in their lives. about life.